Hey there, bright and shiny people. It's me, Shannon, here to enlighten you with information on health and wellness, to increase your vitality, increase your health in any way I can, just based on my 25 years of experience as a holistic nutrition coach, personal trainer, and the life that I've been living and walking and breathing myself. <laughs> so today I wanted to talk about diets, what's best, what's out there, vegan, is it best, carnivore, is it best, keto, uh, paleo, what do I think is the best diet out there? So let's dive in. Number one, what I feel is for me the most important thing is doesn't matter what type of diet you're on, is to eliminate certain things so that you can increase your vitality, your health, and your strength, um, having more co cognitive clarity, and having better digestion. So depending on, doesn't matter what type of thing you're actually on, what is so critical is removing, across the board, is removing processed sugar. Processed sugar is one of the most detrimental things to your health. It will destroy your guts, it will destroy your brain. Um, we now are seeing that now scientists, doctors are now starting to call dementia and Alzheimer's type three diabetes because it is an insulin issue as well. But we also see that because of the effects of sugar on the gut, because the more sugar in the gut, it causes inflammation, it causes inflammation in the brain. So there's a direct correlation between the gut and the brain. That's not new. Just recently, over the past 20 years, there's been a lot of scientific information and tons of studies that have been shown on that. So cutting processed sugar out of your diet is definitely number one. The second thing is cutting out any type of processed, or sorry, artificial sweeteners. Um, what I have seen um, in the past especially being in the bodybuilding industry years ago and seeing just <laughs> how it's really not that healthy because a lot of people are going to extreme with their diets. They are massively depriving themselves and then they're gorging on food. A lot of the women and the guys that I've known throughout the, that industry had um, significant amounts of uh, mental and uh, physical issues post uh, bodybuilding and the reason why is because mentally they are depriving themselves so long and then once they get on stage and they're a double zero oh, like this is for women they're a double zero their body fat is super low there's an expectation within them to stay that lean and it is not normal nor is it safe or healthy for women's bodies um, uh, percentage to be that low is actually very dangerous for us it really upsets our hormones our body fat it has to be a lot higher uh, definitely higher than men in order for us to keep our hormones balanced so having a six-pack 24 7 and having uh, being that lean is not normal and it's not healthy the other aspect is a lot of digestive issues and then like I was saying the psychological aspect of dieting um, and being in the fitness industry uh, comes with a heavy price, you know, it's it, it looks like it's healthy because people have the muscles and they're lean But there's a lot of stuff that's going on behind the scenes that a lot of people don't realize So if that's something that you're interested in the future, just be aware that it's actually not as healthy as people think it is um, Depriving yourself and going to extremes in any diet or exercise is never healthy extreme is never healthy <laughs> and the things that a lot of them do to get to that point is so unhealthy and there's metabolic damage that happens after there's thyroid damage there's um emotional damage there's uh digestive damage heart damage so many things so anyways that is a whole probably other video that i could do but one of the things reason i got on this topic in the first place was because one of the things that i've definitely seen within the um, bodybuilding industry is when people are doing high protein low carb no carb is that they are for their treats and their snacks they are having a lot of artificial sweeteners so they're doing diet pops and um they're doing ice creams that have that are no sugar so it has aspartame or now aspartame is 
become sneaky and have created other names because people have caught on that that's not healthy. So people have, um, so they have put it under different names. And I'm going to, um, I'm gonna do another video and I'm gonna list all of the names uh, on that or maybe I'll put it on my Instagram. But anyways, that's really important to know. So just be really aware that when it says no sugar, and it's an ice cream, you know it's, it's full of artificial stuff. And artificial sweeteners are probably even more detrimental than regular sugar because of the inflammation that it creates. It still causes weight gain um, and it is a neurotoxin. And there is a ton of studies with that as well. It is not widely known and also too, if you Google that, you might not get a lot of information only because now Google is owned by um, a huge pharmacy corporation <laughs> so like anything really health real health um, is is not you're not gonna find it too much on Google anymore so YouTube um, and other things like that um, other resources is what you kind of have to dig into so that is one of the things that I have seen in the past and so people go to that extreme where they're like okay I'm gonna do uh, high meat and low or no carb but um, for my tr my treats and my snacks, I'm going to do uh, aspartame. I'm going to have all this sweet and low or whatever desserts or candy bars or whatever. And that is extremely not healthy. So that is not health either. And then we go on to the other end of the spectrum where I have a lot of friends that are vegan. I know a lot of people that are vegan. And... Um, what they're doing is they're having a lot of processed Beyond Meat burgers, which is the vegan uh, uh, source of meat. It's not meat, but it's the vegan. Um, it tastes like meat, but it's vegan. It's made from plants. But the problem with that is that is highly processed. It's highly full of glyphosates, pesticides, herbicides, like all of that type of stuff that's in it. And a lot of people don't realize that because now you can get it at different fast food chains and they don't realize how much um, processing is done. So that's not real health either. Or I have a lot of friends that are vegan and they'll go to McDonald's and they'll have the fries. The fries are vegan, you know, but it's full of canola oil, <laughs> vegetable oil, which is highly dangerous for the body and, you know, causes a lot of free radical damage within the body and destroys our cells and, you know, causes premature aging. So that's also not healthy. I, I definitely see that a lot. Or they're drinking monster drinks or they're drinking um, Red Bulls and this is not health either. So there is a fine line in between both worlds of whether you are keto, and that's the other thing to keto, I'm seeing a lot of people they are doing high dairy, but it's like processed crap dairy guys, like they're doing a lot of cream cheese um, and like they're making different treats made with cream cheeses and different dairy sources and high sources of bacon with nitrates and bad quality food because these pigs you know were treated horribly and then were processed in a disgusting facility and then you're in you're ingesting that and that is not healthy either so why i wanted to do this video is i don't care if you are vegan or if you're carnivore or if you're keto or if you're paleo the the point is is when you remove the things that are creating a toxic body such as sugar such as the artificial sweeteners another thing is msg msg comes under a ton of names nowadays and that causes a lot of headaches and migraines digestive upsets ibs and a lot of people don't even know that that's even going on the reason that they're having these issues because they're not looking deep enough to see that it is under a lot of different names as well so it's not just going to say msg it's going to say other things um there's probably about 15 16 different names for msg so that's something you want to be very um open-minded about at looking up and researching as well because if you are suffering from a lot of these things um you want to get that out of your life look at pringles pringles and doritos they have two to three different types of msg in one product <laughs> like that is disgusting and that is destroying your health and again it is affecting the way you think if you have higher anxiety if you have a depression this is definitely all linked the other thing is food dyes food coloring this massively and directly affects the brain your brain health your mental 
um, awareness. And I really, I'm talking a lot about the brain because I have an obsession about the brain and our mind and mental health because so many people are being um, just destroyed by, you know, food and they are living a life of low energy and not in low existence because they're depressed all the time. And so many people don't realize that there's a direct correlation with food. Now, there's a difference between people that have had extreme childhood trauma and people that are depressed and they never had childhood trauma. So I'm not talking about people that had extreme trauma. I'm talking about the general population who had a fairly decent childhood but are now depressed or you're a teenager and you are now depressed and you don't know why. The food you are directly intaking completely affects you. And this is the sickest thing that makes me so upset is that the first thing that doctors want to do is directly put you on drugs. Let's put you on drugs. Let's put you on anti-anxiety drugs. They don't even look at your diet. And it is what you put in your body is what feeds your cells, what feeds your body, which creates inflammation or reduces inflammation, which creates vitality or takes away your vitality. Um, it, it absolutely affects every area of your life. So if this is you, please look at your diet and see what is going on. Are you, do you um, consume a lot of chemicals? Are you going to fast food all the time? Are you eating chips and what is in your chips? Is there vegetable oils, canola oils? Are you eating the, even the worst ones, which is like Doritos and Pringles and stuff like that, that are high with MSGs? Those are things to really look at. And another thing, the food coloring, food coloring like Smarties, Skittles, children's birthday cakes, you know, like, oh, I wanted to, I wanted my daughter to have this or my son to have this Lego birthday cake. Yet yeah, it's like red and blue and green and there's all these food dyes in it, which is massively affecting them on such a deep level. If they have ADD, ADHD, if they have focus problems, then this is enhancing that massively. It is enhancing your issues as an adult. Yet we're feeding this to our children and most other countries, this stuff is illegal. It is banned. It doesn't even exist. So think about that. And I'm so passionate about this because I, it really bothers me when I am talking to teachers and I am, they have no control over the students because they are wild. The kids are off the handle and it is mainly what is going on in their diet. That is a huge component. Their diet is off. They're getting too much screen time. So they're playing way too many video games. They're not sleeping properly. All of this is, is a spiraling effect, but it's an all encompassing um, of how their lifestyle is. And I'm seeing parents um, feeding their kids goldfish, which is so highly toxic as well. Um, and just a bunch of junk all the time. And like I said before, you give junk, they become junk within their mind. They're, they're not going to the bathroom properly. They're not able to express themselves the way they need to. They're having higher anxiety. And again, they're just being drugged. People are being drugged. I know I got off on a bit of a tangent, but I'm so passionate about the children, the teenagers and, and you, like I want you to have better health. The other thing, the last thing that I wanted to talk about is gluten. And I know I've done other videos on this, but gluten massively affects your mind because it is such a high inflammatory substance. It is not, um, it is not the, the wheat and the flour that we used to have back in like the fifties and sixties at all. It is a hybridized wheat. It has been genetically modified. 98% of the wheat in this world has been genetically modified. And so it's full of glyphosates and like I said, pesticides and everything. And so we're ingesting that and that is affecting us. So if you are wanting to get healthy, the first thing to do is just get the chemicals out. Okay. And this does not matter if you are like, I'm going to go vegan or I'm going to go carnivore. I don't care. What I care about is you're taking out processed sugar, you're taking out gluten, you're taking out artificial sweeteners, and you're taking out food dyes. If you start with that and you go with real food, real, okay? <laughs> I know it's like, what? Mind-boggling. Real food, you are going to massively notice a difference. So if you go vegan, you just stay away from the packaged stuff and all of the, you know, the stuff you're seeing marketed on TV. 
that, oh, this is vegan, this vegan cheese, and you look at the ingredients, there's like 8 million ingredients and it's highly processed. Stay away from that. You can make your own vegan cheese at home with all natural ingredients. Um, go vegan and see how that feels. If you're like, I want to go carnivore, go carnivore, but utilize organic, organic meat. Um, find local farmers so you can see how the animals are living. They're not in like cages their whole life that can't move and then they're being killed at six months old and you're eating that and they've had a horrific life and then you're ingesting that meat. That's, you know, that that's not healthy and that's not doing anybody any good. I know organic meat is expensive, guys. Like, I, I know it is, so I'll try your best to go organic meat if that is what you are choosing to do. If you're going keto, same thing. And just look at the quality of the food that you're getting, you know? If it's processed, don't wanna have the cream cheeses, even if, you know, it's gonna help you with weight loss because guess what? No diet is going to work if the inside of your body is not thriving and you're feeling alive. So the more whole food, the better the quality, um, the higher you are going to feel. And so ultimately, when you get rid of all of that jazz, um, the processed stuff that I was talking about, and you wake up in the morning and you feel so freaking good, your digestion is on par and you're going to the bathroom two to three times a day. If you like pooping, if you are um, feeling like your moods are stable, if you are just feeling really happy then it doesn't matter which of the spectrum of the diets that you're on that is working for you because ultimately every single one of us our bodies are very different and what we are drawn to and what we feel is good for us is what you need to do for you and for me what i've noticed throughout my life i have gone through different seasons i have gone keto i have gone paleo and I've gone vegan and then and I'm not like um, one of those people that are dogmatic about any of them because I eat intuitively what I feel that my body is needing and what it um, it feels like so if I'm going through a really long stressful period and my digestion is a mess then typically what I do is then I for me and my body I will cut out meat for a bit and then I will just do a lot of juicing and I will do um, vegetables and just, you know, um, roasted vegetables and stuff like that and lot large, beautiful, huge salads. And for me, that will work. And then once, um, you know, five, six months goes by or even a month, whatever, whatever. And I feel like, okay, you know what? I'm feeling the calling that I wanna add in this type of meat or this type of meat, I will do that. And I don't put labels on myself. I don't advertise it. I mean, I am right now on YouTube because I'm trying to just explain something, but I, I don't preach to people what they have to be because I feel like people have to figure it out on their own what feels good. I just help to guide people in the direction of what makes them feel good and help to uplift their, um, their energy and their health because ultimately that's important. I have seen people heal themselves on both. I've seen people heal themselves on keto and I've seen people heal themselves as a, ve like a vegan with like lots of beautiful, vegetables, organic fruits, um, sprouted, um, you know, sprouted, uh, broccoli sprouts and stuff like that, like anything super healthy. And so I can't say one is better than the other because I think that depending on you, you might be drawn towards one or the other. And I don't want to have limitations for people. So Sometimes that can be confusing to somebody who's just starting out because they don't know which one to start out at. So, I mean, maybe I can do some more videos and giving you guys some guidance with where to start out at. But I think you know, like I was just saying, um, to uh, add in, to take away, just start taking away the chemicals. And that will start to give you some clarity. When we start to take out the chemicals from our body, then we can increase our intuition. And this is the base of what a lot of people are disconnected from you guys is their intuition. We all have an innate, very strong intuitive body and our body will tell us what we, we need. And a lot of times we don't listen because 
we're so used to our habitual patterns of eating junk food. We're used to our habitual patterns and we don't want to stop it. And we don't want to change. But like I've said in many other videos that um, when you give yourself the opportunity and you allow health to shine through, I don't want the sun to mess up my video here, um, then you will live life. I want you to expand your horizon and live the life that you want to live. And you have that opportunity. You know, right now in this day and age, we have options. And it's just giving yourself that opportunity and letting go of old behaviors that you know no longer serve you. So whatever diet um, that you are feeling intuitively called to, then start in that direction um, and start cutting out the things that I just mentioned. And then, you know what, maybe in six months you'll be called to a totally different way of eating. And I don't like to live by diets because I don't diet at all. I don't count calories. I don't measure my food. I just eat intuitively. And I think that there's a whole system to eating intuitively too. So I should probably do another video on that. Um, but we, we just need to follow that. Some of the things that you can do to start getting in tuned with yourself and your body is when we remove those chemicals. That's number one. Number two, grounding yourself. There's an electromagnetic field within the earth. We are electromagnetic as well. So when we connect with the earth, we can really connect better with ourselves. So getting out into nature, grounding yourself into the earth if possible, um, as much as you can. Um, even having like salt, salt water baths, like taking, getting good Epsom salts, organic Epsom salts and, and bathing in that even is really good because there's something magical about uh, water and just connecting with that element. So um, yeah, so I wanted to just do a little bit of a deep dive into diets today because I know that's, you know, it's a very controversial world and I don't think we should be dogmatic about it. I don't think that if you are a hardcore vegan or hardcore carnivore that we can't be all friends. <laughs> we can't get along. Um, because I think that if you are a good person and you're living your life being kind to others and loving other people, then you are raising the consciousness of the planet and we are all going to be moving in that direction. And that's what we definitely need right now is to be moving in the direction of raising higher awareness and higher consciousness of love, of love and acceptance and um, yeah, just, just being really good to one another. And, uh, if that is you, then it doesn't matter, you know, um, which spectrum you are on, but when we are tied into all these chemicals and glyphosates and pesticides, and, um, it is dulling our mind out and we can't think properly and we can't be the best version of ourselves. And let's put an end to that this today. Let's start by putting good, healthy food into our body. So love you guys. If you um, like this video, then please subscribe and hit the bell for a notification for the next uh, video. Okay. I'll talk to you soon.